Hey there guys and welcome to another video. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me and as you can tell uh, we have a bit of a different video today. So this is something uh, I've not really done before. Pretty much all my stuff is just like gameplay on screen related things. Uh, a long time ago I did do like a setup video like my uh, like computer setup and stuff um, which you guys seem to like. Um, but today we're going to be uh, looking at all of the Factorio related uh, merch and kind of fan-made stuff and creations that I have. I've accumulated it, been accumulating it for quite some time now, and I have people asking me about it and, you know, mention stuff, and I always look at it, you know, on the Reddit, on my Reddit weeklies, I point out stuff that I think is cool. Um, and uh, I, I want to show, I want to just show you guys, um, not necessarily, not really to brag, but just to share, you know, my love of Factorio uh, with you guys, and, you know, just because there's so much cool stuff out there. So, uh, let's hop right into it. Uh, really quickly, actually, before we do that, I do want to apologize ahead of time. If you hear a loud beep at some point in the video, um, it's my UPS backup. It's like a blizzard outside, and it's been going off uh, kind of randomly throughout the day. I hope we get lucky and it doesn't go off, but uh, <laughs> um, if there's a power surge or something, that's what that is, uh, and I don't dare turn it off, so just heads up. Anyway, uh, we're going to start out. Um, we're going to do kind of a mix and match. So I have some actual Factorio uh, merchandise and then some fan-made stuff. So I have one here. Uh, which I'll start with, and this is a fan-made uh, mug. So I want to give a big thank you to Landmine, um, who I've actually commissioned to make a lot of my art in the past, quite a long time ago, a um, man who does post art and stuff for the subreddit. And uh, this is from him, I believe, got this quite a while ago. So this was a fan-made uh, mug that he had posted um, and sent me one. Um, so very kind of him. It's really cool. It's a it's a coffee mug, um, but if I hold it up to the camera here, hopefully let it focus. Um, it's like a recipe, um, so <laughs> it's uh, it's like a, a Factorio uh, style type of recipe here. The camera will focus, it, having little problems focusing, um, but yeah. So you have like your ingredients and stuff, and then so this is a cup of coffee recipe, and the cup of coffee says temporarily increases your energy and awareness, movement speed thirty percent, crafting speed ten percent, uh, approximately productivity per, uh, bonus one hundred fifty percent, duration six hours. <laughs> Um, and then we have um, our tea recipe here as well, uh, which has some different bonuses on it. Super cool. I just really like this. Uh, I'm a huge fan of stuff like this. So really cool. Thank you to Landmine for uh, giving that to me a while ago. Um, we have some cool little Factorio keychains. These are 3D printed. Um, my dad made these. Um, most of this 3D printed stuff, I have quite a lot. I'm going to show you. Um, I want to give a huge thank you to my dad who's printed basically all of this stuff and... Uh, on my birthday and Christmas, he usually gives me a few things for the last couple of years. Uh, and the majority of this stuff can be found on Thingiverse. So if you know someone with a 3D printer or you have one, you can totally just make it or, or get someone you know to make it. Um, and uh, they don't come painted, though, like you'll see mine. My dad painted them. He's very, very talented um, with all that kind of stuff. So he's done a very good job with that. Um, so there's the mug. Uh, let's move on to... Uh, actually, probably one of my favorite things. This is a 3D printed uh, thing. I think this was actually on the subreddit, and this is, again, something my dad did. It is available on Thingiverse um, in some regard, but he modded it. Um, so we have this awesome little scene here. <laughs> so obviously, the thing on uh, the one on Thingiverse doesn't have my name on here, but my dad added that. He added some additional details, I think, like the wires on the power poles. And this is one of my favorite things. I have it up on my shelf by my computer. Um, and uh, so I can see it all the time and it's just, it's amazing. I love this thing so much. <laughs> he, he did an amazing job with the painting, uh, and assembling everything. Uh, so we have, you know, our laser turrets, our train going through the power poles, the Factorio logo with my name and then the biters. I don't, so we have these two biters down over here and then we have, uh, this biter over here climbing up the power pole. Uh, I absolutely love this. This is super cool. One of my favorite, um, Factory related things that I have uh, by far. Um, so there's that. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I actually, let's cover something I just got in the mail um, a couple days ago from um, a fan. Well, rather, uh, something I actually covered in, a red, in one of my very recent Reddit weeklies, and I was like, oh, cool, these would be neat. I'd love to have some. And uh, the creator of these uh, actually messaged me on Twitter and hooked me up with some. So a huge thank you uh, to Tyler. 
um, who sent these and uh, these are actual so these are keychains but they are actual circuit boards I thought they were just gonna be 3d printed plastic just like the other 3d printed stuff I have um, but these are actual cert like legitimate circuit boards like he has like a circuit board maker um, <laughs> so there's of course a blue circuit one a red circuit one with the factorial logo there cameras trying to focus um, and then I don't have the like absolute best camera for this super close-up stuff but so there's that in Factorio. so red green blue circuit all keychains and actual like circuit boards super cool um, those uh, he made he, he does this like as a thing like outside of Factorio too so it's from TSJ electronics um, I'll see if I can throw a link in the description without any issues um, definitely worth checking out these are really really cool um, so huge thank you Tyler for those uh, another 3d printed thing is uh, this thing is really cool I think I got this last Christmas or maybe my last birthday again this is something my dad made a laser turret um, and so it spins of course it tilts like this um, so awesome but even more awesome is he actually installed an LED. I'm not gonna shine it right at the uh, camera for obvious reasons, um, but uh, yeah, so, you know, we actually have <laughs> like a little laser beam firing here, which is really, really cool. I love this so much. Um, yeah, so spins, tilts, all that good stuff. Um, very, very cool. He did an excellent job with this. Um, so we have that, that sits up on my bookshelf. Uh, also, in the same vein as that uh, it's not factorio specific related but it is related to me so uh, you guys know that I have my like logo um, so this is basically a 3d printed version of my leg you can see a uh, logo you can see how big it is like you know that's my hand so it's it's decent size and I say it's in the same vein because um, he did a similar thing <laughs> he he, he put LEDs in the eyes like, oh my god, this thing is so cool. This is literally like a Terminator. <laughs> I absolutely love this. It's super, super awesome. Um, so really, really great job from my dad there. He does amazing work. Um, so there's that. Uh, let's hop on over to some actual official Factorio uh, merchandise. And I want to give a massive thank you to the devs. Um, they sent all this stuff to me. And uh, most of it is... Uh, actually stuff that they were going to give out at the party for the 1.0 launch which they then had to cancel due to COVID and all that um, and stuff but they were very very kind and uh, you know it's just you know since since I couldn't go because it was canceled and uh, and just as a thank you um, you know for all the content I made and, and being in the community they sent these things to me which I so appreciate the devs are amazing they're awesome people um, they really are supportive of their content creators which I, I just can't express how grateful I am for that and working with them and playing their game so um, this stuff uh, very cool the first one is another mug this is again official from the Factorio team um, so it's it's really quite large um, comparatively so this is like a normal mug <laughs> and this thing oh man that is like a serious cup of coffee right there or any other drink could totally use it for water and stuff and it just has gears printed all over it which is super cool um, you know it's ceramic pretty pretty heavy duty um, so really awesome there big fan of that uh, also from them is uh, they gave me a few t-shirts so we have the normal Factorio t-shirt uh, which has like the loading bar on it that one was sent to me a very long time ago like when they first first came out with it, um, it, it I'm not gonna show it because it's it's been worn heavily <laughs> and I actually think I, I think it's uh, I actually uh, pulled out of my dirty clothes bin so I'm not going to show that one um, it's a very you know it's the one that just says Factorio and has a loading bar on it um, but this I think is a fairly new one I'm going to see if I can show it properly it's, it's really kind of dark the print on it um, but it has the rocket on it on the front so this is the front I folded the arms in um, but there's that which is awesome it has a tag on it uh, I've not worn it because my dresser is totally full and uh, my girlfriend and I are gonna move soon so instead of like rearranging my dresser and putting it in um, I'm just moving it with the rest of my stuff and then once 
we get a bigger dresser and closet, I can actually like put stuff away and then wear it consistently. So that's that's the only reason I haven't worn it because I love these. I, like I said, <laughs> I wear the crap out of my other Factorio shirt, and then that's the back of it. Uh, and the inside, of course, has the Wooby logo as well. Um, so super cool there. Again, I definitely plan to wear this one um, and this other one I'm about to show you. I just haven't, I just don't have room right now <laughs> to like wear these and put them away um, aside from just in the box they came in. Um, so this one has a circuit on it, green shirt. I will say, and I've said this before, I'm not a huge fan of the circuit prints, especially the green on green. Um, it's still very cool. Like I totally wear it, of course. Um, and then within this, um, there's these little, uh, what do you call them? Pins, like shirt pins. Like these things here, they're not part of the shirt. I mean, they're supposed to go on a shirt. Um, you know, they have like the little, the little clip, like the little, uh, needle pin thing that you would pin on a shirt. So this little, uh, like party hat, Factorio gear, uh, logo, which is super cool. I really love that. Um, so there's that one. Again, I will absolutely be wearing the heck out of these as I do my other Factorio shirt, it's very, very worn. <laughs> um, they also sent me this super cool tote bag here. Um, I have used it once or twice. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to go out and do a lot of stuff right now with the state of the world and the season. Um, but the super cool, um, like, backpack with the Wooby logo there. Uh, I think, I don't know if I have it. I had it upside down, like a dummy. So, yeah, the Wooby logo there, uh, you know, it's, a, it's just a, it's like a, a book bag carry bag, tote bag, whatever you want to call it. Um, super cool. Uh, definitely going to be using this, you know, once it comes spring and summer and all that good stuff. Um, and we can go out more. So that's really awesome. Uh, what else? There was another thing from them. Oh, this is probably, uh, I think my favorite piece of Factorio merchandise. Uh, huge, huge thank you to them for this. Again, same reason I didn't wear the shirt. We're moving. I didn't want to hang this up and just have another thing to move. Once we move into our new place, I will absolutely be having this framed and hung up. I'm not even sure I can show this fully um, because it's it's really quite large. It's, it's like 24 inches. Um, it is a gigantic Factorio poster uh, print. So Factorio logo there. Again, it's very difficult to show. Um, so there, it's it's, you know, it's like... It's like one of their, I think this may be like B's uh, Back Class Spaghetti Factory, potentially, um, is, is a poster. It's it's really, really quite magnificent. Um, so I'll absolutely be showing that, um, or hang, well, showing it, showing it off in a, in a frame and hanging it on my wall in our new place. Um, I absolutely love this thing. It is so cool. Um, I was not expecting this when they sent it. Uh, when I got the stuff. This was a very, very nice surprise. All of it was, but I was really not expecting this. Because uh, I've wanted, I wanted a Factorio poster, and this is absolutely perfect. Um, so that's all the, I think, official Factorio stuff. Um, there, I had some other little things somewhere that were sent to me a long time ago, and I have them. I'm not sure where they are. I think they may be packed away already. Um, but they were like little, I think a lanyard and like some other stuff. Uh, and then just a couple more 3D printed stuff from my dad. So the most recent one, I think, or second most recent, is, I think this was a Christmas present potentially, um, Spider-Tron. <laughs> this thing is amazing. All the legs rotate so you can, well, except the middle ones. Um, you can position them how you want. Uh, again, it's painted. It didn't come painted. My dad painted it, did a very good job. The whole head spins as well. So you can, you can like spin the head around, face the other direction. <laughs> really, really awesome on this. I love this thing so much. Um, so there's the Spider-Tron. And then uh, similar to that, uh, very recently he just did this 3D printed car. Um, turret spins up on top. The wheels do spin as well. Uh, kind of hard to tell, but they do spin um, really, really really cool definitely the factorio car there again most of this stuff is on thingiverse if you want to print it or, or know someone who can print it um it may not be the exact same size i know he like blew some of these up and and stuff like that and added some details to some of them but overall should be on thingiverse so there you go really cool car uh and then i think 
one of the last things, again, very recent, I think he gave this to me with the car, um, nuclear reactor print, uh, which is cool. Uh, it's red instead of green in here, but I actually like that. I think it looks really cool. Um, again, very well done paint job on this and it's it's sizable again i mean this is you know this is my hand so um very very cool there and the last thing and this i'm saving for last just because it's so large um you know we all know my reputation with trains right and uh <laughs> this was a huge print my dad made for me xterm express I don't even know if I can fit it all. It's a, uh, it's of course a Factorio train. Um, this thing is, this thing is like a, at least like 18 inches long. I mean, you know, it's like longer than my keyboard. So, uh, very, very awesome. I also have this. I actually have this displayed on top of my computer, uh, because my computer doesn't vent like directly out the top. So I can, there's like glass on the top, so I can set it on top of that. Um, so I have it displayed up there. <laughs> really, really cool. I love it. Xterm Express, um, just need like a, a splattered character on the front of it there. <laughs> uh, but I think that is pretty much it for my Factorio stuff. I have a few satisfactory things. Um, I mean, I can show you one that's fully painted. Uh, this is of course from Satisfactory uh, that my dad made again. Obviously not Factorio, but still very cool. Um, and I believe that does it. So I just thought it would be fun to show this off share share it with you. Um, you know, again, definitely just search like Factorio on Thingiverse if you want any of it, uh, 3D printed stuff. I, I think most of it's on there. I will see if I can put a link in the description for these circuit board keychains. These are, these are awesome. I love these so much. Um, I may be giving some of them out. He actually gave me quite a few, so uh, I certainly don't need all of them. Um, maybe giving some out or, or, or something like that. And, uh, oh, one last, actually two last things. Shoot, I don't know how I forgot these. Two last things. Uh, this is a fairly old one. We have our uh, tanker wagon, and he, my dad even painted a little spill, like, um, from, like, lube or something on there. Uh, and then this guy. Check that guy out. And again, this is my hand. It's quite sizable, <laughs> you know. <laughs> this is so cool, this biter really actually quite terrifying looking um and unintentionally uh my dad used uh like epoxy i think or, or something to give it this finish but i don't know if the camera will show but there's little drips on it which was not intentional um but it actually is kind of funny because it just adds it makes it look like it's like saliva or something <laughs> you know before he's about to chomp down on something um so that actually turned out really really well um, again, excellent coloring and painting on that. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, definitely, uh, I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Like, what what was your favorite thing? Uh, do you have some pieces um, that you really enjoy or maybe that I don't have? Uh, and uh, I'd also like to hear what you guys think the devs should add to their merch shop because uh, I think they should add posters like, like the one I showed you. I think posters would do very well. Uh, mouse pads as well. I would absolutely love a Factorial mouse pad. Um, I have I have quite a large list of things I would like to see on their official merchandise shop. Um, a lot based on, on stuff, you know, that I've acquired. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed. Just thought it would be kind of fun to do a show and tell uh, with all this stuff because um, I've accumulated quite a bit over, over the last couple of years. And uh, again, massive thank you to the Factorio dev team. They are amazing. Uh, I, I just, I'm very honored and blessed to be able to you know, work with them and have them be so supported, uh, supportive of content creators and, and such like myself. Uh, also, huge thank you to my dad. <laughs> These are always great presents. I am starting to run out of room a little bit. Uh, he's just giving me so much stuff. I am a little bit running out of room for them all, but super cool. Uh, he's just extremely talented with, with the painting and customization on some of these. And then Landmine and Tyler, thank you so much for the mug over here and the uh, circuit board keychains which are super cool anyway guys thank you so much love to hear your thoughts down below if you did enjoy a like is appreciated if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe bunch of awesome new content coming up check out my uh video that came out before this one on all the new content that is coming in the near future and until next time i look forward to seeing you all and do take care